welcome to Take Two Radio Music. I'm Pam, your host, and joining me today from the indie rock pop alternative band from Las Vegas, Play for Keeps, is Cameron Detman, the lead singer. Welcome, Cameron. Hello, how are you? Oh, good, good. Thank you for joining me today. I'm so excited to have you with me. Well, thank you. I'm excited as well. Thanks. Where's the rest of the guys? Are they working? Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> You know, You're the, the slave the driver, of, huh? <laughs> yeah, the, well, the joys of being in an indie rock band uh, is a lot of times, you know, we have to have our uh, regular right. day jobs to, uh, you know, to keep things afloat. But, yeah, John is working. Uh, he is a waiter. Um, Joseph, he, he does valet. And then Brian does online marketing. So, unfortunately, they weren't able to uh, dial in for this. But I'm, I'm free today, so... Thank you. That's great. That's no great. Well, I always like to start out the show with letting you tell somewhat about your background, you know, for our listeners to get to know you. Um, when did you know that you wanted to be in music, and who or what inspired you? Um, I, I guess at a young age, I was always kind of musical, according to my parents, and um, I guess it really kind of took off. Um, I started taking guitar lessons when I was in seventh grade of junior high. And then uh, I guess I wasn't really focused. I wasn't, uh, I couldn't really keep my attention, I guess. And so Mm -hmm. then all of basically the entire next year, I just didn't have anything to do with music at all. And then my freshman year of high school, I started uh, picking it back up again. And then I kind of started playing in church a lot. So that was kind of the, the thing that really, kept me going was uh, I played at church a lot. I was, uh, I'm not so religious anymore, but back, you know, when I was growing up in high school, I was kind of, it it was, uh, it was a way for me to kind of play on stage without going on, going in front of an audience that was more judgmental, like, you know, people can be, I suppose. (laughs) So it was kind of like practice, so to speak, of being on stage. You know, nobody judges you there. It's really nice. And so, but then after, I did a few years of that, and then um, then I just decided that I kind of wanted to start writing my own songs instead of just playing uh, church songs, I guess. And so I started playing coffee shop gigs and such, and then that kind of turned into I wanted to start a band. And so I met a friend through school who introduced me to a few guys, and we started our first band, which was called Water Street, because we used to play uh, – shows on this uh, street out here uh, in Las Vegas um, and there's a suburb called Henderson and there's um, and like right around where City Hall of Henderson is, is on Water Street so it's kind of like a sentimental thing for us and okay. then that sort of evolved into what Flavor Kibbs is now today over the, the next few years basically so I've, I've kind of been the only original member of this whole project that was started back in 2007 <laughs> so it's been a while <laughs> Well, when did you decide to change the name of the band? When you got new members, or um, the original four other members that were with me are no longer in the band, and so at that point, when we kind of had switched it to the point where I was the only one left, I just kind of just we decided to just redefine um, what we were trying to do, and so we settled on uh, play for keeps. First, it we had, uh, it was we play for keeps, but then we decided to drop the we on that and mm-hmm. uh it kind of just stuck you know it it uh and we've been playing a, a lot of uh shows here in Las Vegas and it's really we've really become pretty nicely established I'd say I know a lot of people have seen us um live some people have only seen us once but at least they've kind of heard our name thrown around town a lot um so yeah that's kind of how that came into play so did Play for Keeps just come out of thin air and not like, you know, how you chose Watertown? Oh, uh, Water Street. Um, yeah. Or Water well, Street, it, it sorry. Kind of, <laughs> it's okay. It was thought up by uh, my old keyboard player. Um, and it, it kind of, like the you know, the original meaning was uh, from when people used to play marbles. And if you play for keeps, then you get to keep whatever you take. Oh, so, um, <laughs> cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. I like that. Now, do you all collaborate to write the songs? Yes. Um, it's 
it's a very cool process uh, when we write songs. Most of the time, um, one of us will start an idea, and then we'll kind of present it to the whole group, and then we kind of all throw in a little input and, and try new things with it. And it's it's a really fun, interesting process uh, for when songs kind of get crafted, because they'll start out one way. When we, you know, the first, the original idea will be something very simple and kind of just gets the a, a small point across of what we're trying to create with the song. And then by the time it's all finished, it's a completely uh, unique idea. Which is, you know, and I personally, you know, I was originally writing songs on my own. And I was kind of trying to do the singer songwriter thing when I was younger. And then I started playing in bands, and I I really enjoy the band collaborate the collaborative writing over just writing on my own because you know you as a person can only think of so many ideas right um, like you're limit you know you're just limited basically because everybody has a different mind and a different way of of thinking so people can you know give you ideas that you never would have thought of for songs which is which I really enjoy personally exactly and also it it helps too if each of the members of the band likes a different type of genre of music, and they can bring that Absolutely. into it. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah that's a, a good thing. Yeah, we have a number of different influences uh, all on the table. Like, I, I, I'm i a big fan of 70s songs, classic rock, blues, um, and, and a lot of singer-songwriter uh, type music, stuff that kind of came out in the early 2000s, like Jason Mraz, John Mayer, Jack Johnson, mm-hmm. Um, all those kinds of uh, singer songwriters, uh, I really enjoy those uh, types. And then John, our bass player, was really into a lot of heavier music before he joined up with us. And then um, our drummer Joseph, who's also into heavier music, but he likes a lot of um, rock music, kind of more, uh, kind of the more edgier stuff. And then Brian, our guitar player, is really into just pop music. Like he loves Kelly Clarkson, Katy Perry. Lady Gaga stuff like that. So uh, kind of, I like everything you mentioned. So that's probably why I yeah, love your music I, so much because <laughs> I can hear all the influences in it. Yeah, I mean, we, I think we try to we try to keep a nice rounded sound. Um, we, uh, I definitely would say we would fit more in mainstream um, right music as opposed to you know um, some of the other options. But I like to right. think that we are we have like an alternative rock sound, but we have a pop kind of edge to it as well. Yep. So. You could easily cross over to that, easily. So that's that's good. That gives you a wider range of listeners and fans. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Now, do you guys ever bang heads when you're working together? No, actually. Um, I think we've finally found a good mixture of, of member. Well, it we uh we uh, the reason why so many former members have kind of gone through band over the years is because of that whole fact like a lot of people just don't really get along personality wise and and also uh stylistically as well but mm-hmm. i'm as this whole the last p p um that we just did the uh different pace that was all uh, written with these four members and uh there was no problems at all it was amazing it was a great writing process. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. A lot of times that'll get you guys in trouble if you you can't, you know, collaborate on one song because somebody wants this and somebody wants that, and then the song doesn't get done. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. you need to get There's along. Not, yeah, I don't. The egos aren't too big uh, in in our group, luckily. So yeah. <laughs> Is there one person that stands out as being the perfectionist in the band? Uh, yeah, I think that would be a tie between uh, me and our drummer Joseph. He's uh, he's very uh, art particular about what he, the kind of parts that he, you know, throws into the table. Um, he'll, mm-hmm. he'll he'll be working on one part for a very very long time until he gets it the way he wants it. And I, I, I like, and me personally, I like to think that uh, I have. I'm some kind of a, of a perfectionist myself, but not to the point where it's it's a problem and it's it's you know borderlining on OCD kind of mm-hmm. thing. But mm-hmm. um, you know, as being the singer, uh, make gives me a slight responsibility to make sure things kind of run smoothly, so to speak. Right. So, right. Yeah. 
Now, did you take voice lessons, or were you just born with this wonderful voice? <laughs> um, I, no, I definitely took voice lessons for um, of a number of years. I had a vocal coach. I still do. I just don't see her very often. But um, since about freshman year of high school, I've been taking vocal lessons. So. Well, you I have mean, to you... start with something, though. You know, it has to be part of who you are as far as having a voice to sing because there are people out there like myself that could probably take a million voice lessons and not sound good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I'm sure it's probably a combination. Yeah, it's it's definitely something I've had, had to work at um, for a long time. You know, nobody – I mean, unless you're – super special i guess nobody really starts out amazing you know, everyone has to practice mhm mhm exactly well i'd <laughs> like to go ahead and play one of the songs right now from your uh, ep and let our listeners know what your sound is like and the first song okay. i'm going to play is the way i feel so if you uh, could hold on I'm... one moment all right thanks Like you, a few and five 